What's the significance of this hole? This is the greatest hole in golf. This is called the road hole. Yeah, now this is number 17 at St. Andrews, probably the most, probably the most famous golf hole we are on now in the world. Uh, it's, I think, the most difficult par four that I've ever had to play. It's fascinating hearing this man say on the tee that he had to sleep at the golf course last night from 10.30, probably <laughs> to get a, a starting time. That's significant. This, this used to be the old railway shed right here. Used to be a railway shed when I first played. So you had to hit over the railway shed. Now you hit over the O in Old Course Hotel. But the number of people, I'm sure those windows in the hotel there must be all bulletproof because they must hit a lot of people in there. I'm going to try and hit it over the O in Old. Okay, here we go. Ooh, man, how can an 86, how can an 86 year old get a walk like that, baby? <laughs> so now you hit over this, the spa, sophisticated spa, and you have now a second shot to the green. It's only 10 yards wide, a bunker in the front that is hard to get out of. Can you imagine going into this bunker, look how high it is. It's my height, it's higher than me. It's higher than me, now you put your ball here, yeah. You can't get it out, so you have to play out backwards or sideways. And then people say, well, it's not very fair. Well, life isn't meant to be fair. Never mind bunker or golf. Road hole, you've got the road just over the green. You've got this kind of surface to start with. And then you've got a tar road. So if you go over the green, you are really in trouble. When you're going to play this hole, if you're smart, if you're smart, and you're leading the tournament. You play to the front of the green on the front right. You don't even go for this green because there's nothing but serious problems around there. Film the flag there for me. Look where it is, right close to the edge. Now you go for the green, you see that? And you run just over, you hit a perfect shot and you roll over into this stuff. Look at this, can you get my foot? Look at this, see that? You have to try and play off that, then if that doesn't work, you hit it too hard, look where you end up. On the road, look at all these stones, look at this. Look at that, you land up on this road. And then if you're too hard, a bad shot, look where you end up. Here. And in Scotland they say it's murder. The ball lands here. So you can't swing because you can't get a backswing. So you take a club and you hit it against the wall and you try and ricochet it onto the green. This is history that you can't get anywhere in the world. That's why this is the greatest championship that has ever existed. There's nothing that compares to this. If you win this tournament, you've won the, or the, the, you've won the tournament of the world because here you've got to fight the elements. Yardage doesn't mean anything. If you play in America or you play in South Africa or you play in Australia, the caddy tells you it's 150 yards, you know it's an eight iron. Here you can hit an eight iron It'll go, you'll have to need a three wood. The next day you'll hit a pitching wedge. So the difference is it doesn't happen anywhere else in the world. It's a tournament of facing up to adversity all the time.